Welcome back to the Tishmingo County Braves Coaches Show with head coach Preston Leathers and your host for the Tishmingo County Coaches Show is Jack Ivy. Hello again and welcome into the Braves Football Coaches Show. I'm Jack Ivy along with Coach Preston Leathers. He'll be joining us in just a minute. Do you want to say how much we appreciate you for joining us on the Coaches Show each week? Didn't get to do a Coaches Show. Coach was big time under the weather last week, but we're going to be back to talk about Braves football on the Coaches Show here and we'll do a two and one on this one here, but I wanted to say how much we appreciate you for joining us each and every week and also uh, sharing this video with your friends. So we always post this, of course, not only on the Touchdown Club website, but we also have it on our, my Facebook page. We uh, do it on the WRMG Facebook page. We do it on YouTube. We give you several opportunities to watch not only the games, but also the uh, coaches show each week. Uh, tough loss the last couple of weeks, uh, losing to Pontotoc and also losing to Amory, those games at home. And, of course, the finale for the season will be coming up Friday night as we head down to Etiwamba uh, to take on the Indians. And we're going to bring in the coach uh, to talk about uh, not only football, but, Coach, uh, I'm calling this in the Jack Ivey, Coach Preston Leathers special edition because today uh, I know it's been a tough season. We only got one game, but I wanted to take this show here since they did get recognized Friday night to recognize our seniors, but uh, uh, can't beat this group of players as far as uh, not only players, but as far as uh, kiddos as well. They're, they're awesome kids, aren't they? There's no question, man. You know this group, obviously sophomores when I first got here, and they mean the world to me. Uh, all of them are their own individual and have their own story, but I'm going to tell you what, they – there's no way that a, a group of players can mean any more than those guys do to me. Coach, uh, when you got into this coaching profession uh, a few years ago and stuff, did you realize you could get that close to players and stuff? It's No, and you know, you look back through the years and there's, you know, in, in 14 years, I, I told them the other day, I've probably had three that, you know, just really stand out. And uh, these guys right here, you know, obviously no playoffs and no state championships and stuff like that, but you know that doesn't that doesn't change the type of person you are. You know I'm as I'm as close to them as I've been. You know any group in my entire coaching career. You know you have coaches say this is the uh, uh, best group, and sometimes they're talking about uh, wins and losses. Uh, but uh, you've proven over and over again with these guys right here. Uh, what's number one? And uh, it's obvious when they watch them. They, these guys uh, not only uh, mean a lot to the community. I think the, you mean a lot to them. You and the coaching staff. Uh, I don't know how in the world you continue to get them up each and every week after a tough loss, but uh, these guys never quit. No, and it's not easy. Um, you know, we we have to look look at that weekly. You know, what you know, where are they this week? What what do we feel like? The you know, what button, buttons do we need to push this week? You know, where what direction we need to go in? And that's that's probably been the biggest challenge of our you know three year coaching stand here is is just week to week of figuring out you know are they okay? You know, do we need to do this? Do we need to do that? And you know, it's funny you bring that up because that is a huge part of what we've been doing but credit to them you know they they responded they've continued you know I can't look back at one time that I you know that I thought they quit um, and I think that 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 goes to show you know what kind of people they're going to be in life uh, you know when they face adver adversity later on they're going to be able to deal with it and that means a lot to us. Coach Preston Leathers joining us here and we're going to go to those uh, uh, highlights of senior night over at Tishomingo County High School this past Friday night. Coach uh, <laughs> Uh, senior night, uh, we got, of course, uh, these seniors, and I'll let Coach uh, tell you who these seniors are at this time. All right, this is Wheeler Brewster, a um, kid here that's, you know, he's played s several positions. He's been starting at, you know, at DB forever. Um, this year we also, you know, mixed him in a little bit of, bit of quarterback. Um, you know, that's kind of a joke thing. You know, he, last year he begged to play it, and we finally put him in there, and he's done a heck of a job. I, I've been been really proud of him. He's actually my neighbor as well, so you know, gotten to know him through the years, and he's just an outstanding kid. I'm gonna wait till they turn around. All right, this is Hunter Davis. This kid that. Um, first got here, he was mainly a defensive lineman. We've turned him into an offensive lineman. He's going to uh, state championships in powerlifting. You know, he's going to be an orthopedic surgeon. He's just, you know, ultra smart. And uh, he, he started at left tackle for us almost every game this year and, and gotten better and better and better as, as, as it's going on and uh, just, just as good of a person as he is a player. 
Skyler Dill, <clears throat> another guy that's moved around. Um, he's played everything from running back to D-line to O-line to just everything. He's probably our most pound-for-pound pound explosive player. Um, he's worked his tail off in the weight room. He had some back issues in the summer that he had to overcome. And I thought he has done a good job this year of just, just saying, hey, wherever you need me to go, I'll go. He's played, played nose and guard. And, you know, I really appreciate him for that. Jermaine Duckett, once again, one, this was one of the guys that we made as a, as a big time focal point when we first got here. At actually, our first summer, he, he actually quit for about a month. And uh, I remember that, I feel like that was probably one of the most important phone calls I've made. I called his mom, we talked for a long time, and ended up getting him back. And since that point, he's been fully committed. Um, and he's done an unbelievable job at wide receiver, DB. Um, and I believe he's going to have a, have a chance to play on the next level. Um, which would be good for him. John Bailey Eaton, <clears throat> once again, a kid we moved around a lot. He's played, he's played running back, slot receiver, DB. Um, he is a kid that I love to pick on. Um, he is, he, his personality, you just got to know him. We, we stay on him all day, every day. But he, you know, he's dealt with some injuries this year. And, and uh, his attitude since he's come back, you can tell that he, you know, he hated so bad that he missed those those weeks and he has just, he's been in there on scout team. He's been in there on starting off offense, defense. He's just, you know, it looks like he's trying to make up that time um, that he's missed. Casey Flack, um, kid that has come a long, long way as a, as a person and as a player. Um, I've had three coaches this year tell me that he's the best offensive lineman that they've played against uh, any team this year. I know the coach from Pontotoc said that, the coach from Kasu said that, and, and I'm not real sure. There was one more that I can't, I can't exactly remember who it was. But um, we played him at guard this year. We've, we moved him to tackle, which I feel like is more his more natural position in, the, in our scheme. And, uh, you know, he's just he's grown. He's matured. He's been a leader this year and uh, really decided to do things the right way, and it's paid off in a big-time way for him. <coughs> Peyton Flowers. This is a kid that um, I told him the other day when we, when, he, when we first got here, I didn't know where he was going to play. Um, he's kind of been, you know, in a tweener as far as size and whatnot. And he really committed himself to the weight room as well and uh, got stronger, got bigger, and uh, it naturally moved him to the defensive line. And he's, he's, able, he's been able to start every game this year at defensive line because of that. And just shows, you know, what a kid he is to work and, and get his body to where it needs to be to, to be a defensive lineman. Braden Maxey, three-year starter quarterback. Uh, we've had our ups, we've had our downs, um, but never have questioned, obviously, where he, where he was mentally. He's, he's been the one that is a fighter. He's come along. You know, he, I remember him starting as a 10th grader in that first game against Marvel. And, you know, just three, you know, and most people out there would love to have a three-year starter quarterback. You know, he knows everything we're doing now. He can make checks at the line. He, he sees things as quick as I do sometimes, and you know that is a very, very valuable thing. Um, very, very proud of him for bouncing back from his knee injury from last year. I believe that's Ethan, isn't it? Yeah, Ethan Murphy, <clears throat> guy that's been in our backfield for three years, just like Braden. Um, guy has has worked his tail off. He's been in that same weight weight um, workout group as Skyler and. Another one that's pound for pound, you know, one of our strongest guys. And, uh, you know, he's had games where he's carried it 24, 25, 28 times and, you know, never never have to worry about where he stands on a Friday night. You know, we I'll give him the ball as many times as he can carry it. You're watching the Tishomingo County High School Braves football coaches show. Jack Ivey and Coach Preston and others were recognizing the seniors. Oh, that's Jacob. Okay, I couldn't see. <laughs> Jacob Rushing, um, kid that's run track, played football. Um, I told the kids the other day, he is, he is the definition of consistency. He's, you always know where you are with him. He's, he's an unbelievable person, um, absolutely great kid, and he's you know, three year, another three-year starter that's been everything for us. <clears throat> Dalton Scott, see he's out there with, with the Marines, um, kid that played baseball when I first got here, and we actually talked him into coming out and playing football. Um, and he, he went from tight end to now he's, you know, our starting guard and, you know, he's going to represent us in the Marines later on in life. And, you know, I know that he's going to be successful and that he loves it. And, 
be looking forward to watching him grow in that area. Excuse me, I just can't, I can't see some of them until it gets. They don't realize the monitor is a little bit far yeah. away, right, Coach? We'll get a close-up of him. We... That's Cameron Sides. Cameron's a guy that, kind of like Jermaine, he had a little, little time period there where, um, where he decided to give up football. And uh, I remember when he came back, you know, we, we were like, absolutely come back. Because he is, he is just as, he's probably as good of a kid as there is in the whole school system. Um, great attitude every day. He knows his role. He plays it well. Um, I was really proud to get Cameron back out there. He's, he's one of my favorites. Brandon Thacker, a uh, guy that a few years ago, you know, he was, you could tell he was pretty good, but he was, he, he needed a lot of work in the weight room and son, he, ch he changed weight groups on his own. He went to a different group and he, he has, he's, I think he's only missed one workout in three years and uh, that's allowed him to, be, to become our starting center and uh, one of the most important people on the team, the center is obviously, and uh, boy, he's come a long way to, to, to take that over. Brother Lucas, Lucas was, was a wide, wide receiver when we first got here. Uh, he was kind of another one that I, I knew he wouldn't play wide out and had to figure out where we, where we could put him. And we moved him to running back and, and boy, that was a good move. Um, he's, he's been a guy that's played fullback. He's played um, true running back. I mean, he, he can do everything for us. He, he's another one that, he, he's a perfect role player. He goes in for Ethan sometimes, for Tay sometimes. You know, he, he does this, he does that. Uh, a lot of times doesn't get as many carries as other people, but his attitude has been positive, the, you know, our, our whole time. I've been, been so proud of him. Dakota Worley, <clears throat> guy that's played right tackle, nose guard, linebacker, H, and we've moved him all over the place too. Um, he's settled in a little bit more this year as an H back guy. Um, Big kid that he's, he's, he's going to actually uh, go to the Army. Decided that within the last couple of weeks. Took his test of the day and passed it. So we're looking for him, forward to him um, representing our team. <clears throat> Is that Brady? I think so. Brady Whitaker, kicker. Brady uh, been out there, and I'm going to tell you, he just plugs away, plugs away, plugs away. And I've, I've been on his tail for... Oh, as much as anybody on our team, but son, he just takes it. He's got a great attitude, and I'm gonna tell you what 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 we have done and the way he's grasped the, the kickoff game this year has been a been a big deal. We we squib it, and we hadn't had any big returns because of it, and I appreciate him embracing that role and 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 taking that. And then our manager Samuel Osborne, um, kid we picked up last year that has been a really good pickup. People don't, don't understand how important those managers are. Uh, they do so many things that. You know, don't get a lot of glory, but, you know, he, he has picked it up and, and run with it, and we appreciate him as much as we do any player that we have. But great senior group, Jack. We're going to miss them more than I can possibly say. How many total no seniors we it. end up with? For the There's 17 if you count Sam. He, he would make 17. My goodness. And uh, just an awesome group. Uh, you hear the names called out each and every week with, uh, of course, Blake, Randall, and Terry on Friday nights. And uh, I know these guys – are definitely going to be missed as Tishomingo County Braves. Only one more game on the schedule of four of these guys, and, of course, that'll be Friday night at Etiwamba. Coach, uh, while we're talking here, uh, I'm going to show the folks. Um, they'll be able to see some of the senior uh, cheerleaders and uh, also the band while we're talking. But uh, uh, I want to get away from the uh, game here just a second and uh, say how much we'll appreciate uh, you and the uh, coaching staff uh, I know these 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 kiddos look up to you and the coaching staff, and I want to say hats off to you and the, and the other coaches for the great job you do, and just just to try to keep your heads up on a, when you got a tough loss, uh, and some of those losses have been more than I know you and all of us would like to have, but uh, to be able to keep that head up and, and keep encouraging the team, I'm going to say hats off to you and the other coaches. Coach, we appreciate you. Well, we appreciate that. You know, we whenever I get down, I just know I know I think about the fact that we're going. You know, we're going to have 50-something of them show up on Monday looking at us for the answers. And so we're going to try to bring the, the best ones we have. We, we appreciate that. Coach, we mentioned, uh, <clears throat> of course, we've been trying to get people to buy tickets for the big uh, $10,000 giveaway. And, of course, uh, $15,000 was given away Friday night. Me and you didn't get any of it. But uh, hats off to the people that did buy tickets. Uh, $15,000 was given away Friday night. And I want to congratulate the winners. But... Also congratulate the, even the ones that didn't win because 
we wanted to win, but uh, I promise you, when those people will give that $100, uh, they know the chances sometimes is, is uh, not as good as they'd like to win, but they're doing it for the program, Coach. Yeah, they are. Uh, we've never had a problem with that. We, in fact, we, the, about the last week, once they're sold out, you know, we still have people trying to buy them. You know, it's, it's just incredible to me year to year to watch that. And, and we, our community is supports in everything. If we do something, you know, it, it's, we've never had something that we tried to do that we were like, man, nobody really came out for that. That's, that's not an option. I mean, it's, it amazes me every time, and I, I, I really appreciate everybody doing that. Coach, we're recognizing the cheerleaders. We'll do the band here just so you can see the video. But whenever you watch the game replay, uh, the entire pregame, uh, and also the halftime when the band is recognized, will be on that video. So whenever you go watch the video of the game between uh, Tish County and Amer, you'll be able to see all the festivities on senior night as we recognize them. Of course, you'll hear we had a microphone with the uh, people that uh, was doing the PA there, and uh, they did a wonderful job announcing that as well. Of course, uh, the Tish County Braves and the Etiwamba Indians coming up Friday night. Let's talk on that just for a second, Coach. Last game of the season. Yeah, uh, and we, we feel good, uh, you know, watching film and, and knowing what we do and knowing what they do. Um, I mean, we, we feel like if we if we come to play that we're going to be in the game. And, you know, we've, we've, we've talked about to our kids, you know, all year long about just, you know, take it quarter by quarter and let's see where we are. And, you know, in, in several games, you know, we were 12-7 with, with Corinth. I mean, with um, Shannon at halftime. We were up 12 nothing Corinth at halftime. We were... You know, we pulled back in the Pontot game 21-14 in the third, you know, and there's times when we've, we've done that and then we've, we've made mistakes to get ourselves back out of it. And uh, I feel like, and I, I wholeheartedly believe this, that if we, if we play it quarter by quarter like we've, like we've said all year long and, and we stay away from the mistakes that we can control, we're going to have a chance to win. Um, obviously, they're a good team. They lost some seniors last year, but, you know, they've beaten some good teams. They beat Shannon. They beat Ripley earlier in the year. They've you know, they've won some, some really good games. But, uh, you know, we feel, like I said, we feel like we, we're going to be in the game. And, boy, it would be nice to get one here at the end of the year. It would be nice to go out for these uh, seniors. And, the uh, you know, you, you say you want to win one for the seniors, but I want to win one for the fans, too. They, they, at least uh, hats off to you fans. Uh, you've been there win, lose, or draw each and every week. And uh, we appreciate uh, the Tish County fans. Coach, we're going to get out of here because uh, I know uh, you all don't realize that this guy – uh, makes a big time effort to get down here to do the coaches show. We tape it in our Red Bay studio. That's where we get all the equipment at. So he drives to Red Bay, Alabama on Monday mornings real early. I'm talking about, we used to do it at about 6.30 in the morning, really the crack really of the dawn, but uh, we're doing it a little bit later now, like at eight o'clock. But uh, we got to do it on Mondays cause we got to get it on so you can watch it. But uh, coach, I want to say hats off to you, the seniors, football players, band, cheerleaders, and all you folks out there watching. This has been our special edition of Tish County Braves Football Coaches Show, recognizing the seniors. Coach, any final comments? Yeah, I could just appreciate y'all, man. You know, y'all don't get enough recognition covering as many games as y'all do, you know, in every sport and giving our parents and our community a chance to, to go back and watch the games. And, you know, I know a lot of our people, you know, put it on the radio and listen to it, you know, like they're at a college game on Friday night. I've had several people tell me how much they, they like that, but we just appreciate you, appreciate y'all support and y'all doing an, an unbelievable job. We appreciate you, and of course, don't forget uh, if you can't make it to the game, you can always take your radio to the game and listen to Blake Randall. Uh, we're broadcasting it live within the stadium, so it doesn't matter where you're at. So at Ed Womble, you can do that. Also, if you can't make it to the game, go to wrmgradio.com. Wrmgradio.com. Just click on the Tish County link. You can listen to it. CD quality, uh, no telephone is involved in it, so the quality is really, really good. And, of course, uh, we hopefully you'll do that Friday night. For Coach Preston Leathers and Keith on the controls, I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you so much for joining us for the Coaches Show this week as we've recognized all the seniors for Tish County. I'll see you next time right here on the Tish County Braves Football Coaches Show. Y'all have a great day. You've been watching the Tishomingo County Braves Coaches Show with head coach Preston Leathers, your host for the Tish County Braves Coaches Show, Jack Ivey.